crossed the line, General. There are some things I can't forgive. I thought I knew you. I trusted you. And then you joined up with the scum that prey on the Commonwealth. That's enough out of you, Garvey. I guess we understand each other then. Don't think that the Minutemen will stand by and let you bring even more misery to the Commonwealth. If that means shooting at you and your new friends, so be it. But that's in your hands. You can still turn back and try to actually make the Commonwealth a better place. If you or any Minutemen get in my way, I won't hesitate to put you down. Don't worry. I wasn't expecting anything else from you. For the Commonwealth's sake, I hope you change your mind and come back to being the general we hoped for. I'll follow your orders as a loyal Minuteman. But our friendship is over. I can never trust you like that again. Can I call I have this necklace that would look wonderful on you. Here. Okay, I guess. Uh, wait a minute. Help! You're property of Nisha in Nuka Town now. Oh my god. Get going. Shank. God damn it. Bad news, boss. The disciples have turned on us. Seems they didn't like how you were doling out territory. Nisha and her crew went and stormed Nuka World's power plant. The other bosses? Well, they're waiting on you before they move in. You better get up there and put an end to those turncoats before they do something stupid. Well, something else stupid. I can't leave this place for five minutes without everything going to hell. If you're looking to blame someone, it better not be us. While you were away, word came back from the Commonwealth that you are favoring the Operators and the Pack. Which we certainly appreciated. But, surprise, surprise, Nisha wasn't exactly thrilled to hear the news. Yeah, she and her gang forced their way into the power plant. Now they've got the entire place locked down. She can't get away with it, boss. We all want in on the action. <laughs> Park back online, you might want to cover old ground and see if you can get into some of the places that were cut off. Or maybe hit up Shank and take out a few more Commonwealth settlements, if you left any standing. Oh, and of course, you could always lend Mags or Mason a hand. I'm sure they have plenty of jobs to run. Sounds like we still have plenty of trouble to get into. I guess we better get started. Then I guess that does it, boss. You point the way and the gangs will follow. Organize a crew. It's time we got a settlement to cough up some supplies. You got it, boss. In which gang you want to join you on the job? The operators. Deal. They'll be waiting for you. Believe that spot's one of yours, boss. Still want to proceed? That one's the target. Of course, boss. Which brings... Hey there. Hey, boss. Heard there's some settlers in need of a maiming. Sounds like fun. You want us to get started? Let's do this. All right. You're gonna give me and my gangs back in Nuka World everything we ask for. Got it? Yeah, yeah, sure. You'll get your supplies, all right? Jesus.
think I got something. We've got company. Bad move. Got this. Just keep your cool. The name's Sierra Petrovita. I traveled all the way from the Capital Wasteland to visit this place. Maybe you've heard about my Nuka Cola Museum? Uh, yeah, the Nuka Cola Museum. Everyone's heard of that. Really? That's great! I'm so glad word is catching on. Maybe I'll get more visitors soon. You just made my day! Here, let me return the favor. It's not really cold anymore, but I'm sure it still tastes great. Well, I'd stay and chat some more, but I've got to get back to my search. I could help you out if you want. Oh, no thanks. I kind of need to keep this a secret. It's really important to I'll keep your secret. You can trust me. Well... Okay. To be honest, I'm so excited I can barely keep it in. It'll be a relief to finally tell someone. I guess you could think of me as the world's biggest Nuka Cola fan. I've been obsessed with the stuff since the first time I tasted it. I collect all the merchandise I can find, like these awesome Cappy glasses I'm wearing. But these aren't just ordinary sunglasses. They were part of a really cool contest that started just before the war. And oh my gosh. And. The winner of the contest would get to meet the famous John Caleb Bradburton himself! Bradburton? I remember that name. He was the guy who invented Nuka-Cola, right? Exactly! Wow, not a lot of people know that. At least not anymore. So, to win the contest, you had to find ten images of Cappy, the Nuka-Cola mascot, hidden throughout the park. Each image has part of a code or something, and only these special glasses can reveal it. Now I know what you're thinking. Brad Burton's long gone. Who cares about the contest anymore? Well, I'm betting that somewhere in his office is the original Nuka-Cola formula. That formula was one of the great mysteries of the soft drink world, and it would be the crown jewel of my collection. If you can help me get it, I promise it'll be worth your while. Sure, why not? Might learn more about the park while I'm at it. Good point. You're new here, after all. You should learn everything you can. I'll give you my cappy glasses and this old contest hollow tape. It's got hints about where to find the hidden cappies. Just track down the clues, and then come back to me once you've found them all. I'm an expert in all things Nuka-Cola, so I'm sure I'll be able to decipher it. Happy hunting! And that's all ten clues. Better get these back to Sierra and see what you can make of them. Careful out there. The park's a pretty dangerous place. I found all the hidden cappies. Each one had a letter? Great. Let me take a look at these letters. Well, anyone who stared at Nuka-Cola merchandise as long as I have would get this one pretty fast. The letters definitely spell refreshing. It's... Simpler than I was expecting. Of course it's simple. The contest was meant for kids. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I guess sometimes I take all of this Nuka-Cola stuff so seriously. This door should lead to Brad Burton's office, but it's locked up tight. The keypad is the only way to open it. I guess we just need to key in the ten numbers that correspond to the word refreshing. You did all the work looking for the hidden copies, so you should be the one who gets to enter the code. Unlocked. Let's go inside. Simple rules. Uh -huh. At that, Mr. Brad Burton, you were one sneaky devil. Oh. The formula's got to be past this door. 
Let's take a closer look. seen a real human face in so long. I had given up all hope. Oh my god. It's alive! He's alive! My name's Sierra, sir. I'm your biggest admirer. I love Nuka-Cola more than anything. This is such an honor. You there, with the pit boy What are you doing here? We solved your hidden cappy contest. The hidden cappy contest. It all seems so long ago. Another lifetime. That was before I became this monster. Before I was trapped here for centuries to suffer in solitude. This was General Braxton's plan all along. Damn the man. He called it Project Cobalt. In exchange for my weapon design, he would give me access to life-extending technology. I'm such a fool for taking him at his word. He never told me that this would be the price. I can't imagine what you must have gone through. I'm truly sorry, Mr. Bradburton. A... a weapon? I don't believe it. Why would the genius who brought so much joy to the world want to make something destructive? Genius is restless, madam. It must expand, seek new challenges, and explore new frontiers. So yes, a weapon. It was going to be a quantum-enhanced variant of the standard portable tactical warhead. In fact, the prototypes are stored in this very chamber. You can have them. On one condition. I want you to shut off the power to this machine that's keeping me alive. I want to die. What? No! Yeah, if our places were reversed, I'd probably want the same thing. Then I trust you will honor my wish. You can't kill him! He's a great man! He invented Nuka-Cola! The best thing in the world! Lady, you don't know what a torment it is. Being trapped here alone, and staring at the same wall, decade after decade. Now please shut up, while I talk to your more rational friend here. I realize that what I'm asking isn't easy, but there's something in it for you. When the power is cut, the door to the prototype storage room will open automatically. Take anything you want. I don't care anymore. Just please, set me free at last. I can't bear this loneliness any longer. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Mr. Bradburton wants to die because he's lonely, right? Well, maybe I could stay with him, you know? Keep him company, give him someone to talk to. He's like a hero to me. Yeah, but if I don't cut the power, then that door doesn't open. And I don't get my prototype ammo. I know, I know, but I have something else that I can offer you instead. At least hear me out. I've got a limited edition Nuka-Cola jumpsuit. It's really stylish, and not many were made. It's one of my most treasured possessions, but... Well... I'm willing to let you have it. A Nuka-Cola jumpsuit? Ha! That's a paltry prize compared to what I'm offering. The choice is yours. But I beg you to honor my wishes. 
There is no one else who can help me. I sort of feel sorry for him. I couldn't stand being a frozen head. How could I drink Nuka Cola? So, have you made up your mind? I'll do it. I'll shut off the power. Thank you. Now please do get on with it. I I'm ready. I've been ready for a long, long time. Can you imagine being trapped like that for centuries? You wanted the Nuka-Cola formula? Here it is. So it really was here. I'm grateful, but don't think this means I've forgiven you. You killed the man who was my greatest hero. A man who revolutionized the soft drink industry, and whose creations put smiles on a million faces. Who the hell are you to just walk in here and destroy all that? He made a choice. And I respected that choice. You should too. I... I guess so. It's just that... Never, not in my wildest dreams, did I think I'd get the chance to talk to Mr. Brad Burton in person. To get an opportunity like that, and then have it snatched away. It, it hit me pretty hard. Still, I can't overlook the fact that for one glorious shining moment I got to meet the man who invented Nuka-Cola I'll never forget that not ever and it wouldn't have been possible without your help thank you you're welcome here I know it's not much but you really went above and beyond the call of duty I think I'll stick around here for a while and see what else I can find by the time I'm done, I'm gonna need a much bigger building to house my Nuka-Cola museum. <laughs> I can't believe it. You killed the raiders. All of them. I have to ask, why? Not sure, really. I guess I just felt like killing a lot of people. Oh. Okay, boss. I, uh, really hope you've scratched that itch now. I've thought about this day for a long time. Dreamed about it, really. Though I never thought I'd see that dream come true. Now that it has, I'm left with a question that I don't know the answer to. What happens next? <laughs> well, you're free now. You can do anything you want. Freedom. I never appreciated that word as much as I do right now. You know, I think we should keep this market open. Bring it back to what it used to be. A place where everyone feels welcome. Before you go, there's one last thing I need to say. Thank you, sincerely, from all of us.
Thank you. Like 